What's up, Taurus? Getting y'all out of the way, out of the way, just in case. Uh, this is your weekly reading from. Oh my God! What what day? The nineteenth to the twenty fifth. I want to say. Um, just keep in mind, all the Earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, are all uploaded on Thursdays. That's when you guys can expect your readings. So, just in case you forgot. Uh, if you're new here, my name's Tori, Tori Franco. And if you're interested in personal readings, becoming a patron, supporting me in any single way humanly possible, everything that I do is linked in the description below. Um, go to my website and everything that I offer or do is there. I will be adding more things within the next coming months, but for now, what you see is what you get. Uh, keep in mind, this is just an energy check, so it's not going to apply to all the Tauruses. If it doesn't fit, it doesn't fit. It's not your reading. Um, check back next week. But, you know, or I'm just trying to get the the most dominant energy for this week. See what y'all are going through. Because I feel like y'all are going through it. Uh, let me see. Let me shut the fuck up. Nine of... Can't make it up. Nine of fucking swords. Um, that's worry. The fool. And the world. Wow. And then the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck. I love this fucking deck, too. It's very... Uh, my green screen's gonna pick up on all this green. Whatever. Uh, just deal with it. So we got the Nine of Swords as the first card out. That's about worry, sleepless nights, maybe. I don't know if y'all are having issues sleeping, but I would be willing to bet y'all are. Uh, possibly about walking away from something. Um, about leaving something behind and starting anew. The fool is starting fresh in a, in a situation. And the world, again, these two cards, this is about new beginnings. You're afraid of that, though. You're worried. Um... But you know that you know that it, whatever this new chapter is, because the world is about com a completion of one chapter, walking into another. One door closes, another one opens. Um, Y'all are worried, but willing. Why do I want to say that? I don't know. Like willing to take the risk, you know what I mean? But just very worried about what's to come. With this new chapter. But there's no... What I've realized... And listen. I'm a worry wart myself. Ooh. Okay. Please hold. I'm a worry wart myself. And I'm trying to convince myself that... There's no point in worrying. Because what's going to happen is going to fucking happen. And, uh, you know... Especially worrying about things we can't control. Alright. Mmm. Mmm. Shit. Wow, okay. Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck in reverse. And then the Death in reverse. Okay, so y'all are resisting a change, for sure. Um, Ten of Pentacles comes out um, underneath the Fool, which for me, the way that I would read that is um, there's a stable situation that could possibly give you everything that you want and that's what's like on the other side of this but you're resisting the 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 complete leap into it um i don't know if you're feeling like with the judgment in reverse you're feeling like maybe you're making the wrong choice or you don't want to make the wrong choice you, you don't want to make the wrong judgment call with this um and maybe that's where this worry is coming from. The Ten of Cups in reverse, that's that's about emotional fulfillment. Um, it could be family, it could be a relationship. It's like uh, if y'all are leaving a relationship, you're scared. You're scared to do it. Um, it's like you're scared to give yourself everything that you've ever wanted and deserve. But you know exactly what it is you want and deserve. You're just afraid to kind of go for it. Um, 
you might be stalling, like making a decision or something like that. I don't, to be honest, like I don't see your, y'all have been really ungrounded lately. I don't see, I see you guys, even with this worry, you know, this nine of swords, I do see y'all in a, in a somewhat, I mean, y'all are still resisting the, the change. Um, Tauruses, earth signs don't really like change too much. They like consistency. So that makes sense. Nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. That is about standing on your own two feet, right? You're afraid to kind of give yourself the happiness that you deserve. Because maybe you've been told you have to do it a certain way. You have to be a certain way or whatever. And now you're realizing that your happiness is your happiness. This, this is everything that you've ever wanted. But you're afraid to go for it chariot comes out we love to see it five of wands yeah it's conflict um and the page of pentacles in reverse this to me right now i don't know why i just heard full stop even though the chariot is about movement it's like i'm getting this vibe of like you're taking three one step forward two steps back in a situation like because you know what you want you know where you want to go you know where you you know where the the end goal is and you're you get there you take a step you take two steps and then something happens you get afraid you become discouraged or something like that and then you take two three steps back so you're either exactly where you started or like a little bit further back that's the that's the the vibe I'm getting from these cards. And and it's because of the worry. You're afraid to leave something behind fully, completely. But you're still moving. But then moving back. It's just this woo, this back and forth. Uh and maybe it's a back and forth in your brain, but deep down you know exactly what it is that's going to give you at at the very least the 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 stability that you want I feel like it's yourself with this nine of pentacles you know you can stand on your own two feet you know you you can do it you don't need any situation or anything but you're just afraid you literally <laughs> you literally push forward and then pu and then push backward it's fucking crazy Mm, ten of Swords. The Emperor. And Temperance. Okay. And the King of Swords. We love to see this. King of Swords. Even though there, there's still this, whatever this is, right? I don't know if you're triggered by something or you're still, you know, dealing with pain. The Ten of Swords... There are t there are tarot readers at readers out there that are like the ten of swords. It means it's the end of the pain. You're still feeling the pain. Life is on fire for you. It's let's not let's not talk about you know like let's not pretend like um, y'all ain't going through it because y'all are definitely going through it. You're pushing forward even through this, but you're still feeling the feels and you're still feeling the pain. The emperor is like you trying to gain control over whatever the fuck this situation is. There's a lot of conflict, maybe, maybe a lot of even fights. If this is because the ten of cups came out, if this is about a family situation, it's like maybe you're fighting a lot within your household and everything's kind of upside down um, and you're still trying to push forward. And you know that, like, at the very least, you want to wipe the slate clean in some sort of way for yourself, emotionally, I feel. Whatever that may mean for you. The Emperor is all about being a leader and taking control of a situation, not abusing your power, having power in a situation. So maybe there is a situation where you hold the power. You're not abusing it, though, I don't think. I think you're just conflicted. 
Temperance is about <clears throat> patience, being patient with yourself, needing to have that patience with yourself, um, and kind of, I'm feeling like, I don't know why, but a rebuilding of your confidence within yourself. Y'all still don't really trust yourselves, I'm feeling. And also finding the balance. I feel like you're starting to. Like I said, you, you have a lot of worry. You have a lot of um, pain that you're feeling. But at the very least, y'all are, y'all are now knowing the direction you want to go into. I feel like the last couple of weeks, your energy has been all over the place. You're definitely getting better. The energy is improving. We dig this. We dig this a lot. Uh, you're coming into a place of balance. Whether you realize it or not, there's something you're doing that is helping you. Six of Cups. It's about, again, I'm just getting a lot of family vibes here and past stuff. Seven of Swords. Mm. Fuck. Um, and the Empress in Reverse. Damn, we got the Empress in Reverse and the Emperor out. And then the Three of Cups in Reverse. Three of Cups is like the Three's a Crowd... I don't know. Okay. This is sneaky behavior. I don't know if y'all are being a little sneaky. Um, or just not say, not like, not like talking about certain moves that you're making. Uh, the Six of Cups is about the past. You're thinking about the past. You're reminiscing about the past. Um, there are things you need to heal from your past, especially with this Ten of Swords that comes out next to the Six of Cups. It's like pains from the past. You're pushing past the pains from the past. But they're... they're... Why do I feel like you're getting your affairs in order for something? Why, why does that... Why do I get that vibe with this Emperor and Seven of Swords? And if you're getting your affairs in order, you're not telling people that you're getting your affairs in order. Make it make sense. The Empress in Reverse is just further confirmation that you don't have the utmost confidence that you should have. Um, you're thinking more with your brain and analytically than with your heart and emotionally. Because uh, you have the Emperor out. And the emperor is strategic. The emperor is analytical. He's rational. He knows how to plan ahead. Uh, I feel like you're there. And the empress in reverse is like, I got to turn my emotions off completely. Um, and also, she doesn't know, the empress in reverse doesn't know her own worth. And it doesn't mean that if you're a dude listening to this or watching this, like, take it how, how it resonates. You're completely in your masculine energy right now. Planning, 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 planning. Like I said, getting your affairs in order. Not telling anybody. There's something you're you're not saying to people. The King of Swords came out, which is about, well, it was at the bottom of the deck before, which is about, like, speaking truths. I don't feel like that's you, though. I feel, I feel like you're speaking certain truths, but there's other truths that you're not speaking. Does that make sense? I don't know. Y'all let me know. <laughs> Queen of Cups. Finally upright. We love to see it. Knight of Cups. Damn. Damn. And the Queen of Wands. Hmm. And the Three of Wands. Wow. Making progress. The Three of Wands is all about making progress in a situation, possibly with this, whoever this fucking water sign is, if this is a person you're dealing with. That, that could just be... Uh, 
I feel like this. I feel like it's another. It's a person. Possibly, you got the knight of knight of cups here. This is like somebody has your heart. I, well, I don't know why I want to. I mean, she's holding an anatomical heart in her hands and she's playing it. Somebody's playing on your heartstrings. Um, or something is playing on your heartstrings, and maybe that's what's keeping you, um, worried. Is like there are. Th when I see this card right now, I'm not getting the best vibe. The Queen of Cups, wonderful. We love to see it. There's a lot of emotion here. There's a lot of emotion here. You are very emotionally invested in, in a situation. The Knight of Cups um, is like, not that I'm, not that it's a bad vibe. It's just like, there is something that's playing on your on your emotions and it maybe it's it's preventing you from having a new beginning in something queen of wands the queen of wands here with the empress in reverse i feel like there's cuz the empress in reverse can also mean like issues in the home so I don't again I don't know if you're having issues with a family member or something like that you might just be crazy pissed off at this person if it is a person that's how I would interpret that also Queen of Wands knows what the fuck she wants. So again, it's like further saying, you know exactly what it is you want, where it is you want to go, but you're scared that you don't have what it takes to get there. This could be in a relationship. This could be in a business. This could be you starting f your own business, you starting at a new job, whatever it is. It's like you don't know, you don't realize that you actually do have what it takes. You're the Empress. You're the empress and the emperor. And if you're dealing with somebody, this is you dealing with like a partner, right? But you're, it's like you've checked out emotionally. Take it as it resonates. The three of wands is all about expanding your horizons. Um, you know, like, Expanding your horizons, that's really it. <laughs> Let me pull three more cards and then I'll do the uh, oracle. King of Pentacles in reverse. King of Cups in reverse. It's, what the fuck? And there it is again, the Ten of Cups in reverse. And Strength in reverse. Y'all are scared. Y'all don't have the courage right now. King of Pentacles in reverse. This is technically your energy, Taurus. It's just Taurus energy, Earth energy. There's a situation that you're emotionally invested in for certain reasons. It's like you're emotionally invested and then you're not emotionally. Like I said, it's just this very back and forth energy that I get from you. Ten of Cups. When I see the Ten of Cups, I see either things going wrong, like I said, things going wrong at the home, or c that could literally just be a breakup. King of Cups in reverse is, um, <coughs> um, emotional withdrawal, complete emotional withdrawal. So you are no longer, it's like you're emotionally invested for some reason but you are no longer expressing that you have zero expression of that emotion and I do feel like you're possibly getting your affairs in order with something like if this is a job situation it's like 
you're emotionally invested in your job because you put all of this effort into it so clearly your you have your emotions are rooted there but it doesn't do anything for you anymore um and so now you're secretly looking for jobs on the weekends and 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 interviewing for jobs to get your affairs in order to get something lined up so that you can piece the fuck out if this is um a relationship situation it's like you're in a marriage you don't you no longer want to be in you're not completely saying that um or whatever and maybe you're like i don't know secretly opening up bank accounts behind your spouse's back in order to save up money so that you can find a place when you're ready that's what i mean by getting your affairs in order that's what i'm feeling Let's pull some fucking oracle cards. It's like something like that. Whoop. All right, we'll take all these. Fuck it. Bring love into the situation, like I said. Very emotionally withdrawn. um, Emotionally cut off. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. What did I say before I said you were more in your analytical mind and being more practical than you were about being emotional. You need to find that balance. Communication is key. You're keeping shit. <laughs> so you need to communicate and say what's on your ch- say say don't say what's on your chest. Don't let pride get in the way. Um I don't know who needs to hear that. A new start is coming. That makes sense with the fool. We love to see that. Conclusions are within reach. Makes sense with the world you're approaching it you're approaching this this a win-win outcome forecast right don't be afraid to take the next step uh don't be afraid to say what's on your mind and how you feel don't be afraid to express um don't be afraid to be truthful with yourself and with everybody else because whatever this situation is, it's all going to work out in your favor. You know, you're right there. Um, you just need to find a little bit more balance. But we love to see it. You're, I don't feel like you're completely all over the place anymore. So I, I enjoy that for you, Taurus. This is your weekly reading. I hope this made some sort of sense. I'll see you guys next Thursday. Peace out, everybody.